All right, Lost Dutchman State Park. And as you can see, why it is called Superstition Mountain, hyphen? Superstition Mountain. Uh, this is a enormous park. Uh, I want to say it's 300 acres, but uh, entering fee area. All right, we've arrived at uh, Lost Dutchman State Park. $7 for the family to get in. Uh, and this is a little map. Uh, you can probably find it online. Anyways, we're just going to do one of the trails. We're not going to do a full trail. We're going to go up and down because I've got a 3, 5, and an 11-year-old. And the 3 and 5 will probably tank out on me early. All right, so this is the treasure loop trailhead that we're going to be doing. A couple things I didn't mention. You can actually camp here overnight. Uh, and we pass those uh, down that way. I don't know what the cost for the camping is. You'd have to look that up. But uh, we're going to head up this trail and uh, look at Superstition Mountains. Uh, the ranger did recommend this trail for us uh, because we have the little guys, uh, so it's supposed to be an easier hike. There are other trails here. Uh, other thing to notice is they did put some railroad ties in. Uh, that's to help you when you're going up and down. The cactus that you see over here, and there, and there, and some even behind us, are called cholo cactus, or cacti, for many of them. Um, these are also known as the jumping cactus. Why are they called the jumping cactus? They don't literally jump around. Uh, but if you get too close to them, and I want to say about three feet, they actually have the ability to launch their needles, giving it the appearance as if it were jumping at you and, and sticking with those needles. They're very painful. They're not supposed to be sucked out. Uh, they're all over here, so just uh, you know, be aware. I mentioned that you can camp over that way. Um, another thing that uh, this park is open to is mountain bikes, and you can see the bike trail. Uh, so there's actually a dedicated mountain biking trails that you can come out to the camp and uh, uh, to this park and do. Also, it's a dog friendly park, so if you want to bring Rover, you're welcome to. You just got to clean up after him. And I think there's horses allowed here too. That fence is there to keep horses and bike riders off of this part of the path. And that sign back there that had the man with the stick says it's okay to hike. Yeah. Uh, another thing that you'll notice here quite often are these washes. And you'll see them all over the place. The? Uh, it's where the water's running when it is raining. Uh -huh. You gotta be careful with the water. Yeah, it's slippery. Other kind of neat thing is uh, this is a big wash right here, Pat. The vegetation, you can tell that it feeds off of that wash. So there's water still down underneath that that's how it's holding the vegetation. The deserts have water, you just gotta dig for it. Horses and bikes have to use the cross cut. Come here, get out of the way. Uh, so I said I thought that horses were allowed up here. 
you can see the horses are allowed up here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Have you ever seen a horse like that? You have? Would the kids like to say hi? If that's okay, yeah. His name is Phoenix. Phoenix, oh, yeah. And he really likes kids a lot. Feel his breath? Yes, I do. He's been working a little bit, so he's got yeah. some breath going. Can mm -hmm. I touch him? Yeah. I'm going to actually go right up there. Just like, see how she's doing? Put your hand out. Put your hand out. Nice and smooth and down with the hair. Nice, huh? Does that feel good? And you want to try? It's very warm. Okay, back up. Phoenix, can you say hi? Say hi. Hello. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. There you go. He's a big horse, you huh? You want that? Yeah. Can you say hi instead of looking for friends, huh? You can. <laughs> oh, he just gave you a hug. He just say gave you, you a hug. Thank you. Hi, Phoenix. <laughs> There you go. Leah, you want pet? Sure. Anywhere you like. He's not going to do any harm to you at all. Like I said, he just lo he loves people in general, but especially kids. It's beautiful. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. You are very welcome. You enjoy the day. You too. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye bye. I always thought that was a dog. <laughs> no, that's a horse. All right, well, there you go. This has been the uh, Superstition Mountain Lost Dutchman State Park. Uh, one last thing, they do have little picnic areas just on the general day stuff too. So if you're not here in the summertime, probably not a bad place to have a picnic because you get that great view. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, give me those comments below. All the stuff that you know about this place, feel free to tell us and share it. Uh, let me know where you want me to go next and check back for the next video. Otherwise, take care.